welcome to your new home on the distributed web. Let's take a look at some of the core features of the neighborhood's social coordination layer. First, name your neighborhood. Then choose an image or logo to associate with it. Different permissions are assigned to creators and members of neighborhoods. So, to create a neighborhood, you'll also need to make a profile for yourself. Then, add mini apps, or applets, into your neighborhood. These apps provide minimal functionality, so that you have only and exactly what you need for your community group. You're in control of your social space, so say goodbye to the stuck social patterns of Web2 platforms. Here, we'll co-create a list to surface group priorities. You can even choose what kind of member participation to pair with the applet. We call these assessments. You can plug and unplug assessments depending on the type of feedback or governance that best fits your use. As you can see, this list will be used to collect votes on wishlist items for a shared space. Note the stars that represent votes on the right side. All assessments made are cryptographically signed by members and stored on chain. They show up in shared dashboards. This way, everyone can trust the way that decisions are made and they even come to understand the group's culture. Maybe you decide more nuance than a simple vote is needed and change the assessment to a 1 to 5 heat scale. This might better help you sense people's preferences. You can change the way members participate, and then see these new data points show up as a different view in the SenseMaker dashboard. Want to do even more together? New applets can be added anytime. Maybe you just threw a live event and want to create a special place for introductions from attendees. You can send and receive invitations to new members of your neighborhood and they can see the applets that you're using and decide to join them too. Each new member has a unique identifier associated with the objects that they add and the assessments that they make in the neighborhood. Neighborhoods applets are fully peer-to-peer -peer. This means that agents always keep a copy of the data that they create. Something as simple as a like, or as important as a vote, becomes metadata that has been validated by the whole neighborhood. This creates accountability within neighborhoods, and also makes it easier to move from space to space. Individuals can enter new neighborhoods with the social data stored on their devices. And whole neighborhoods can migrate to new apps without data loss. Neighborhoods is still in alpha, so this is just the beginning.